We have breaking news this morning. A bridge collapsed in Baltimore after being hit by a cargo ship overnight. This is a live look at the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge with the ship that hit it in the middle of your screen. Authorities just gave an update. Glenn Marshall's in the newsroom with what we've learned. Glenn. Hey, good morning, ladies. Now, the Maryland governor is declaring a state of emergency. Crews are looking for seven people who may have gone into the water after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed in Baltimore earlier this morning. The collapse was caught all on camera. Take a look for yourself. Video from Stream Time Live YouTube channel shows a ship hitting one of the supports of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Right after that impact, the bridge started to come down, collapsing into the Patapsco River. In an interview with CNN, Baltimore's fire department authorities are saying they are searching for seven people after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed. We do know two people have been rescued from the water. One of them was seriously injured in that collapse. The New York Times is saying the Coast Guard received the word that the bridge was struck by the cargo ship at 127 this morning. The New York Times is also giving details about the ship that the bridge was hit by. They say that this is a 948 foot long cargo ship donning a Singapore flag. It had left the Baltimore uh, area around one this morning headed for Sri Lanka. The crew on deck, they weren't injured, but they are still on board. However, multiple vehicles on that bridge were sent into the water. We know at least one of those vehicles was the size of a tractor trailer. Now, authorities are using sonar technology to find the vehicles in a press conference held earlier. They were talking about the rescue efforts. Here's what they had to say. We are still very much in an active search and rescue posture at this point, and we will continue to be for some time. We have a large area that we have to search. This includes on the surface of the water, subsurface, as well as on the deck of the ship itself. Just think about, most importantly, which is what we all should be thinking about right now, nothing but those families and people that are impacted and those people who are risking their lives right now from not just Baltimore City and Baltimore County, but all over the state to try to save lives. And as of right now, we have not heard of any reports of casualties. Authorities are looking to see if crews were working on that bridge at the time of the collapse. Of course, we're going to continue to monitor this and bring you the latest. We're going to send it back to you ladies in the studio. Glenn, thank you. And here's a closer look at the area of the bridge. The Francis Scott Key Bridge crosses the Patasco River southeast of downtown Baltimore. It runs more than a mile and a half. The middle part is the part that fell into the water. It's part of the I-695 Beltway that loops around Baltimore in one of three crossings over Baltimore Harbor. It was built in 1977 and carries more than 12 million vehicles every year. As for the cargo ship that hit it, you see a picture of it here. The Coast Guard says it's called the Dolly. It's registered in Singapore. It was headed eventually to Sri Lanka. That is a live picture uh, of the scene there in Baltimore. It's about 984 feet long, has a width of 157 feet at its widest point. As of last hour, authorities said they had not interviewed anyone on that ship as of yet. But again, this is a developing story and uh, we're going to have to follow it and see what develops as the morning progresses. We will bring it to you live also online at WGNTV.com.